getting to that time of year when just random spots are showing up on our leaves and we don't really know what these spots are. And we get a lot of questions in Backyard Farmer. I have spots on plant X, spots on plant Y, spots on plant Z. What's going on? Well, unfortunately, we need a little bit more information before we can really come up with a good diagnosis. And so really, when we are looking at these leaf spots, a few different things that you should be looking for. Number one, I always want to look at the margin of the leaf spot. Is it a fairly, is it a fairly uniform margin where it's nice and defined by, by with maybe a certain color, maybe the center of the spots are tan and the outsides are red? Certain diseases will cause injury like that. Now, the other thing that we always want to look at when we're talking about leaf spots will be the shape and the size of these spots. Two of our main pathogen groups that cause leaf spots are our fungi and our bacteria. And now when we're trying to differentiate, is this a fungal leaf spot, is this a bacterial leaf spot, really just looking at the shape of those margins can give us a fair amount of information. And so with our fungal leaf spots, often those are going to be a little bit more round as the fungus continues to grow and spread throughout that, um, throughout that leaf surface. And we'll kind of get that round, that roundish shape or maybe elliptical. Whereas a lot of our bacterial pathogens are a little bit weaker and they're not able to cross those leaf veins, which means that a lot of the bacterial leaf spot lesions tend to be a little bit angular at first. And so eventually as they, as they grow, they may, they may coalesce or come together to form a larger, more round leaf spot. But at least initially, those bacterial spots tend to be smaller and again, kind of more angular as they're restricted by the leaf veins. Now, some of the other things that we always want to look at when we're talking about our leaf spots are colors, but not only the color on the top of the leaf, but what does it look like on the underside of the leaf as well? Certain pathogens may form little structures on the underside of our leaves. As we think about a lot of our rust diseases, a lot of our rust diseases, you look at the bottom of the leaf and you'll just see some kind of fingers or tendrils that are coming down underneath those lesions. And those are symptomatic or diagnostic for the rust fungus. If we, have, if we are seeing these leaf spots and we have determined that the issue is pathological in nature, some of the main things that we can do, at least for fungi and bacteria, number one is sanitation. And so making sure that as soon as we see some of these leaf spots appear, we're working, as, working to get them out of the garden as quickly as we can. The other thing that works very well for a lot of these leaf spots is monitoring our watering schedule. And so we want to irrigate early in the morning so that the, so that the water has all day to, to dry off of the leaves. And so we don't have an extended leaf wetness period. The longer the leaves stay wet, the more likely they are to, to be infected by, by a lot of these diseases. Now, if you are looking for a chemical control, you really need to know what you're dealing with. A fungicide will not work on a bacterial leaf spot. So if, you're, if you have bacterial speck and peppers, fungicides will not control that. And so it is very important to always know what sort of leaf spot you're working with before we start thinking about any sort of control options.